Hello everyone and welcome back. Sorry for my gross nails. I just removed my nail polish from this weekend. But it's time for Katsu's haul. Katsu haul. I am so tired, God. Um, so I bought a lot, actually. I bought a lot of little things. So things that were fairly cheap, but I bought a lot of them. Um, so I'm going to set it up in a way that makes most sense, which is I basically bought Precure, Icots, Akatsu, um, and then just kind of general fashion things, and then maybe a couple of miscellaneous items. Um, surprisingly, I did not buy a single thing in the Artist Alley. I don't, hmm, well, I don't actually know if that's surprising or not. I did want to buy things in the Artist Alley. There was, like, two prints that I wanted. I just completely forgot to go back into the artist alley on Sunday to actually buy them. Um, it was a nice creamy mommy print and there was a Yurika print that I wanted to buy and I just plain forgot to buy them. But without further ado, let's get into this. We're going to start with the pre-gear stuff that I bought because I bought the most of that. So this is a little coin purse. And Sammy gave it to me as a Christmas present. Um, Sammy lives in Japan now, um, so she came back and visited for Katsu. And she brought me back this little coin purse, and it's really cute. And she was like, I hope you liked this one. And I'm like, I love Star Twinkle. Oh my god, I love, I love Milky so much. Um, but yeah, it's a cute little coin purse. And I'm happy to have it. But the first thing that I actually bought was this um, little cure milky figure. It's a little toy and you can like pull off her hair and you can replace it with her civilian clothes and hair. So you can you can make her go back and forth between milky and Lala and it's great. I really love this and I actually really wish I had the chocolat one. Um, I remember seeing it and I didn't get a chance to buy it at the time. So, um, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, but they had all of the Star Twinkle ones, and they had a few Hug Toe ones. But they, they had Moshity, but they didn't have a more, and I can't separate them anymore. So, and just like I can't separate them, I also bought Star on Sunday because they're, they're girlfriends. And I love them. So, and I, I made them so they can hold their little hands, except their arms don't rotate, so. But yeah, I have Cure Star and Cure Milky, and I Star also came with her hair and clothes, so you can turn her back into Hikaru. And I just love these two. They're, they're so cute and small, and they'll be perfect for my little Precure shelf. Also, when I bought the Milky figure, I also bought a uh, Cure Cosmos pen. Um, and this is just like a generic dolphin pen. I'm not actually sure what it says when you put it in, um, but I've already opened this because I cosplayed Cosmo, oh not Cosmo, Uni on Saturday and I wanted to carry around her pen since I have the pendant. Um, so it's just the regular pen and you can actually take this part off. Um, not all of the the pens come with this part on so I will be moving this to a different one it'll go to milky let me let me just be honest it's gonna go to milky um, so you got the pen and then we have this little dolphin pen yeah I like put it in the pendant just to see what it did and it, it made noise and it said stuff but meh. I don't really care, <laughs> honestly. But it's cute to have. It's nice. It's cute. I accept this. So yeah, I got the I got two pens. Okay, so these are the last two Precure items that I bought. Um, so we did, at the booth that I got all my Precure merch from, I did end up, uh, they, they had gachapons, um, gachapons. And so, I did, Rachel did two and I did two and you'll see in the vlog what Rachel pulled. You won't see what I pulled. Um, 
but I actually pulled this towel but for Cure Star so we traded <laughs> she got milky I got star um, so we traded because I love milky and she loves star yeah it's just this cute little towel and this is actually so you can see the prize list this is the C prize um, so it's kind of the the most common prize that you could get um, then you got the the rubber strap figure uh, the rubber straps and then the, the best prizes are the figures um, on my first pull though I actually pulled where is it there it is I actually pulled the best prize <laughs> I actually pulled milky and I'm very excited. This is a very nice little gachapon figure. I really like it a lot. Um, you can see like her hair is translucent. And there's a lot of little details to this little figure. And I mean, again, it's a gachapon. So it's not like perfect. So there's like little scuff marks and stuff. Um, I paid a five whole dollars for her. Um, and yeah. Because the gachapons in Japan were like 300 yen which is about three dollars plus the markup for conventions so five so I spent ten dollars and I did two gachapons and I got star or wow I got milky and I'm very excited to have her she's really cute and she comes with this little stand um, I wish I had gotten star but it's fine I, I really just want star so I they can match <laughs> but it's cool Next we will do Aikatsu, and we will start with, I bought a CD. I figured since Retro Psycho was there, I would go ahead and buy one of their CDs. Um, they, this is the Calendar Girls one. I believe this is from like the first season. I'm not actually sure. Um, it is a used CD. Um, Retro Psycho is a little expensive to be buying CDs from. They're basically... They're, they're basically full retail price um, if you were to buy them new, but of course this came out several years ago, so. And there's like the song list, and the two CDs, and then the little booklet, which has the lyrics and stuff, but you know, I don't speak Japanese. So, um, but yeah. It's cute, it has cute art on the inside. Um, the little booklet has cute art. Yeah, I'm going to say this is season one for Aikatsu. Since it's mostly just Star Anis. I got three buttons. I thought I had lost Sumide. I knew she was in my bag, but... Um, so I got a Yurika button, a Kaede button, and a Sumide button. Um... But yeah, I just got little buttons. They they had very limited Aikatsu merch, um, and it, most of it was OG, so uh, I'm the least familiar with OG. I haven't finished it. I'm almost to season three in the Akari arc, so I've gotten most of their stories, but then I have Sumide, who I haven't met yet. Um, I just know she's a goth idol, so I snatched her up. <laughs> so, but I got these three buttons. Everything else, um, all of the stars merch that they had was basically limited to Yume, Laura, and Elza. And while I love Yume and Laura a lot, I'm okay on Elza. Um, I, they didn't have Lily, so I didn't care. <laughs> that's that's what that was going to. Next, we'll do we'll do the miscellaneous stuff. So I have. This candle, this is one of the last things I bought on Sunday. It's from The Body Bakery, which is actually based in my hometown. Um, but it's the Scent Volcano, and it smells super good. It's a soy candle. It was like $13. It's really nice. Um, I got the last one on Sunday. I just love the scent. So This is a present for Jay. I um, We stopped by the Sugar Lagoon stand, and they had... Uh, a deal where you could get like two keychains for $15 so I got the I love you dearly for Jay and I let uh, Ray pick one out um, and they got the howling howl for you I believe it, it's a wolf one so um, 
they picked that one and so I just got this one for Jay as a little a little present the last miscellaneous thing I got was some dice um, I've been playing D&D &D, but I haven't had any dice so I just picked up a dice set um, the cool thing about this is it's black but it's also translucent which is nice because that's kind of what I was going for so um, I just picked up a single set of dice I'm not like a super big person on dice it'll be nice to have especially now that I can make my own rules am I putting this on backwards now I can make my own rules and not rely on the internet for that but yeah I have a whole dice set the last things I have are fashion related so um, I didn't buy any Lolita dresses but I did buy accessories this one first though is a gift Ray ended up buying um, all of their friends a little present and so this came from Twilight Fashion so this is this is the little fashion-y group that they had um, they saw these there and asked me which one I liked and I was like I, I did really like the little moons with the bats um, and they asked between a purple bat and a black moon or the, the lavender moon and the black bat and I was like either one of those because I have a dress that'll match it um, so they got me this one and has a little clippy on the back there's a little dangly bit it's perfect I love it same booth uh, the Twilight Fashion booth I got a pair of like angel wings um, bird wing ring uh, but yeah this was like ten dollars I have a Lolita dress that it's on pre-order from Lady Sloth and it's the Nevermore dress but in death um, so it's the Ravens but they're skeletons <laughs> so I thought this would be like a good kind of match for it since it's wings and go with that dress I also bought this this like can be a hair clip or it can actually be like a rosette um, I will probably use this more as a hair clip but I like it because it has a little bird cage there and a little bird cage here and it matches the dress really nicely I picked the gold colorway um, with my skeleton birds so um so it's red gold black so this is this matches it perfectly and it's it's beautiful I really love this a lot um, and I can't wait to get my dress once it's out for release because um, I've got roughly like a month left before that's available um, but yeah this is just really super pretty and I love it and this was the most expensive thing I bought this was like $55 all right so here we are That is everything that I bought at Katsu, and I had a really great time. It's exactly what I needed. I had been going through some stuff, um, and it was really rough. So I just had a nice, relaxing Katsu Con, and I bought a lot of stuff, and it was great. With that, I will see you guys next time in my vlogs. Bye!